Good day everyone, here is another video update on Tropical Storm Jalawad on this Saturday afternoon as we continue to monitor the system east of the Philippines last located approximately 480 kilometers east of the city of Borongan in eastern Samar. Uh, maximum sustained winds are still around 95 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 130 kilometers per hour. As you can see the system is uh, slow down significantly and is almost stationary and remaining here east of the Philippines across the Philippine Sea and will probably meander in this region for at least another 24 to 48 hours so um, definitely a bad news for folks living here in the Philippines uh, meaning more uh, more rains definitely in the next few days there Look at the latest visible image system that needs to consolidate and needs to improve seeing that central dense overcast starting to um, uh, into improve starting to appear here with the uh, good convective activity right over the center also seeing that uh, clouds and uh, outer rain bands are actually affecting parts of eastern Visayas and even here in northern Mindanao so uh, rain's definitely beginning across parts of um, Visayas just a microwave image you can see here's some very tight convective bands uh, starting to occur. Very intense convective activity actually right over the center there. System still has a long ways to go though before becoming a typhoon. We're not seeing that eye walls. Uh, we're not seeing that eye wall uh, form just yet. Uh, and also looking at the uh, visible image, system still lacks that uh, pattern do you sh usually see in in storms that are nearing typhoon intensity however the conditions will remain very favorable in the next three days uh, still expecting this to become a typhoon perhaps by tomorrow morning and in fact the joint typhoon warning center expecting this to become a category 4 typhoon uh, by uh, the um, middle of next week as it moves uh, here uh, east of Luzon Recently though, the system is, is beginning to, as I said before, beginning to impact parts of Visayas and we also, we now have uh, signal number 2 actually up, this is as of 11 a.m. for Eastern Samar, signal number 1 for the provinces of Sorsogo, Northern and Western Samar and also Aleite and basically uh, the areas here across the eastern edge of the Philippines, those are in line for the outer rain bands and also uh, gusty winds perhaps up to 100 kilometers per hour and also uh, definitely the uh, wave heights starting to increase all across the eastern seaboard of the Philippine Islands uh, from Mindanao all the way up to Luzon so um, mariners and fishermen shouldn't really be going out to sea especially here in uh, the Visayan Islands looking at the infrared image again showing you the strong convective activity right over the center still not seeing that symmetrical uh, central dense overcast however so again as I said still has a long ways to go before becoming a typhoon but strong signature being shown definitely by the system again also showing you the strong outer rain bands impacting parts of uh, Visayas and also the moisture inflow from the southwest bringing some rains actually across northern Mindanao as well areas are reporting around 30 to 50 millimeters in the past 24 hours areas across Visayas and even southern Luzon already reporting, particularly here in the vehicle region, already reporting rains of up to 100 millimeters in the past 24 hours alone and fortunately more rains are on the way expect as high as 300 millimeters could fall in the next 72 hours in many places here so definitely the threat of landslides and major widespread flooding um, are, are possible. But if you take a look at Pegasus Project NOAA, this is the radar image from Cebu. And again, you can see those widespread rains moving in from the north to south, uh, embedded along that huge circulation from uh, Jalawat, impacting uh, uh, parts of um, Cebu, uh, Samar, Leyte, and many, many provinces here in Visayas. And in fact, even if you move into Mindanao, also seeing this stream of rain showers moving in from the west to the east affecting parts of Davao provinces as well rest of the Luzon though are seeing mainly isolated uh, thunderstorms here we have Subic and Tagaytay radar sample and you can see some isolated thunderstorms 
across parts of central and southern Luzon. Not directly affected though by um, by Jello water. Expect those rains to start creeping in from the south, affecting parts of southern Luzon and eventually eastern Luzon in the next three days here. You know, the forecast. Here we are looking at the latest steering pattern in the atmosphere. And again, system continues to remain uh, it's nearly stationary east of Visayas as subtropical ridge starts to weaken as an approaching trough from eastern China now diving in to uh, western Japan weakening the subtropical ridge and allowing a small weakness should allow Jalawa to start turning more to the north in the next 48 hours again moving to the north and perhaps by, uh, by as early as Monday or Tuesday system should could actually could track more to the northwest as another subtropical ridge is actually forecast to strengthen here in China should curve the system to the uh, northwest perhaps actually perhaps impacting parts of Luzon by midweek next week in fact looking at the latest forecast agency forecast models still showing lots of uncertainties here though some take it towards Luzon Strait this red line over here taking this towards the Taiwan area and this purple purple line over here actually taking Jalawa to the northeast so lots of uncertainties definitely anywhere from Visayas to Taiwan all the way to Japan should continue monitoring this system for any possible changes in uh, in the forecast and also look at this another bunch of lines being shown in the map and this is uh, this could be another tropical cyclone formation in the next three to five days near Guam something that will need to be watched as well now looking at the fish forecast from the uh, weather agencies in the region we start with Japan Meteorological Agency and forecasting systems start turning north and then eventually turning more to the west by, uh, by as early as uh, Tuesday or Wednesday perhaps impacting the northeastern tip of Cagayan uh, by the middle part of next week JMA also expecting this to become a typhoon as well as tomorrow also perhaps becoming a very strong typhoon once it reaches Luzon area Pagas also showing this northward turn and actually more on the northwestward side definitely agreeing with the other agencies is showing uh, the system tracking east of Luzon by uh, Tuesday perhaps uh, well, Pegasus track only goes out to three days, so I don't really know what they're expecting here, but they are saying in news reports that they're uh, expecting this system to eventually affect parts of eastern Luzon as well. Now, finally, we have the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's forecast, and staying mainly actually north, and uh, not expecting direct landfall, but still passing very near the northeastern tip of Cagayan uh, by Thursday afternoon. JTWC also expect this to again as I said earlier perhaps become a category 4 uh, typhoon once it reaches this um, this region and you can also see in this latest map from them this cone of uncertainty remaining still very wide very wide error um, being shown on the map so lots of uncertainties and uh, definitely anywhere along this along this map should continue to closely uh, monitor the uh, the system uh, for any changes in the track. Finally, before we end our video update for today, we talk about another uh, a low pressure area, Invest 93W. This is the system we've been talking about in the past two days. Something that could form near Guam. This was last located approximately uh, 520 kilometers west southwest of Guam, or about 380 kilometers north northwest of the north northeast of Yap Island. Right now the system is still disorganized um, but it's starting to show signs of improvement in the past 24 hours. Uh, some computer models forecasting this to develop in the next two days. We'll see. I mean um, the uh, environment is definitely conducive for, uh, for further development. Although the proximity to um, Tropical Storm Jalawat just pictured over here and that the infrared image could could inhibit some development in the next uh, few days but uh, in terms of the track forecast models forecasting this to take a uh, track to uh, track to the north 
not showing the direct cyclone interaction or a Fujiwara effect that we've talked about yesterday, but still could, could bring some uncertainties and could definitely complicate things as we head into next week in terms of forecasts for this two potential systems in the Western Pacific. Right now though, that system is still moving very near the Marianas Islands, definitely bringing enhancing some rain showers and thunderstorms across the islands here, not affecting Guam as of the moment, but could um, could bring some uh, quick rain shower or two in the next, uh, in the next 12 to 24 hours. And finally, as we look into the wider picture, the Western Pacific area, the latest infrared image from NOAA, Again, you can see here Tropical Storm Genovat continuing to intensify and here we have Invest 93W. It's almost, actually, the, it, is, it is part of a monsoon trough that is, uh, in, that is linked with um, Tropical Storm Genovat. Nearly the same, uh, same uh, monsoon trough along the uh, Western Pacific. And again, expecting this could develop in the next three days, but so right now, Tropical Storm Jalawat uh, remains in this region, bringing widespread rains across Visayas. Could become a typhoon as early as tomorrow. Could become a threat across parts of northeastern Luzon as we head into next week. Concludes our video update for today. Continue to check out Pegasus for the latest warnings and forecasts. They will be putting up their latest signal warnings uh, in the next few minutes here. Our next update will be 5 p.m. afternoon, so stay tuned for that. Also, westernpacificweather.com for the latest updates. Also, meteorologist Robert Spera will be giving out uh, constant video updates on this system as well. Stay safe, guys.